Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I saw this um, cookie cutter at Michael's and it gave me an idea. I tried the cookie cutter before, but it didn't really work out very well. But this time I took a razor and I cut a little bit on these points. So the far points and then the points right here as well. Now I'm sure I did not cut evenly, but I feel like that should fix it so that it's not sitting flat on the canvas, which is why my last one didn't work out so well. And the paint should seep through and we should get a pretty cool pattern. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use some leftover paint here because it's basically the same colors I'm using anyways. I've been using a lot of the same colors recently. So we're just using white, blue, purple, and gold, pretty much. In the cup, there's a there are some other colors, but I'm not too worried about it. So that way I just don't have to use as much new paint. Plus it is paint mixing time again. My white is almost out. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and just set this here for a second. And I'm going to add a little more blue, and then we're good. I wanted to do it as a dirty pour because I think with something like this, just like with a colander pour, etc., I think the dirty pour works better. Okay. So I'm going to pour right in the middle here. Not a lot of room to really do any particular pattern in here, but... The cookie cutter itself is a pattern, obviously. So I didn't cut off like huge amounts, so I don't expect it to seep out very fast. As you can see, the cookie cutter is full. Let it drain down for a second. Get some more. And what I would like to do is let this move by itself for a while. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'll speed this part up. And then, um, you know, we'll do the tilting and stuff at normal, normal speed. Okay, at this point it seems to have majorly slowed down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. They have a little star. <laughs> um, I, I'm wondering if it would seep out better if I had white or like a base coat under there. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and tilt. And try to maintain that star because I like it. <laughs> but it oh, got a little distorted. Actually, it seems like it's going to come out to be kind of like a rose. Like a rose starfish. I'm going to bring it this way. Mm. I'm just going to help this part over here. I actually don't want to bring it that way more. Um, I'm kind of thinking if I want to do it off center again or not, or leave it. I'm leaning towards off center. I'm leaning towards running it a bit more this direction. So I'm going to do that. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, let's leave it. I don't want to fool with it too much. 
All right, so we'll let this sit here. We've got some pretty cool patterns in here. Um, it did not do what I thought it was going to do. I know if I were to have this on some sort of like a spinning, like a Lazy Susan or something, that might help with kind of the look I'm going for, but um, mine's broken right now, so. But anyways, I still really like this. Let's, let's uh, let it sit and we'll come back for a close-up. Okay, we're back. I actually have some little white spots that popped up through here that I kind of like. So let's go ahead and we'll do our close-up. So lower right-hand corner. Um, there's actually quite a bit of depth to this one. It's a little hard to see through the corner or the camera, um, but it's interesting. Upper right-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, it's got this kind of like wispiness that I like. Down to the lower left hand corner. And once again, this kind of is reminding me of an abstract sea turtle swimming. I don't know what you guys see, but that's what I see. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to try this cookie cutter experiment one more time with um, a wet base. And then also another time with a spinner. And I will see you all next time.